Hi, I'm Pete May, president of Green Biz Group, and we're excited to be here at Verge Hawaii in Honolulu. And my guest here is Matt Ganser, vice president of engineering for Carbon Lighthouse, who's one of our partners. And Matt, I was reading about your bio. You have a, uh, shall we say, a very unique bio. You come from a family that has a background in, in oil and gas. You worked in the oil and gas field. Um, what's a nice guy like you now doing in a sustainable market like this? <laughs> there are nice guys in oil and gas and women as well. Uh, it's, it brings them all in. Um, yeah, so I grew up within an oil and gas family traveling across, you know, we lived in California, we lived in Norway, uh, we lived all over the place. It's not quite as romantic as uh, maybe John Wayne with cowboys and horses and kind of rattling around in a truck. Uh, it's much more akin to being around technology centers and you know, construction yards with ships that are a thousand feet long. For me, coming out of undergrad, uh, going into oil and gas wasn't an easy option. It just was what I decided to do. I was looking for something high in engineering, high in adventure, and going into oil and gas was the, kind of the path that worked for me. It was really exciting because it was a front end, it was a front seat to seeing energy development on a massive scale. Uh, oil and gas is the story largely of the 19th and 20th century economies and to some degree world progress. Uh, so being part of that was pretty cool. In the process of doing that, I was involved in an environmental project where we reduced the NOx emissions from our drilling rigs. Mm -hmm. It was my first environmentally focused kind of job within oil and gas. And after doing that job, I, it was wildly successful. It was a really cool mix of society, energy, and environment all working out for everybody. And that experience was pivotal for me to think about joining kind of this general need to address this existential issue of climate change. Yeah. So let's talk about that and about some of the lessons you brought um, and some of the parallels you saw from the kind of the oil and gas world and how that applies to this new paradigm that you guys are building um, for your business. Yeah, so one thing I think we're pretty excited about at Carbon Lighthouse is we strongly believe that capitalism is gonna save the planet. Fairly ambitious and perhaps controversial, but we certainly think that's a really important part of the solution. Uh, we borrow heavily from the oil and gas model because we think that to address this huge energy issue, we should think really big. Mm -hmm. And who bigger to borrow from than the oil and gas industry? What's really cool about the oil and gas industry is that they have this really uh, strong risk reward perspective mm -hmm. uh, where a developer takes on the risk, the costs, the, the science, the engineering, the financing, all that kind of stuff that uh, is fairly complicated, and in exchange for taking on a lot of that risk, they get a piece of the reward. And we we see the world of efficiency in buildings and the built environment very similarly, in that it's complicated, there's a lot of cost, there's a lot of risk, it's, it's murky at times, yeah. and so we want to borrow that same model and apply it to this yeah. large problem. And the value proposition is for you, it's a combination, for your customers and what you offer, um, it's a combination of financial, uh, financially based as well as satisfying certain environmental goals? Yeah. And it I varies by client? It varies by client. Yeah. So we typically like to hit people in the head and the heart. Most people really care about the environment, you know, for lots of different reasons. For some people, it's a society argument. For others, it's more like traditional pollution. Uh, we take them all. And certainly the climate change kind of argument is a big part of that selling point for folks. But a lot of these companies are corporations and they have a fiduciary responsibility to their stakeholders to show a financial return. So we like to also make sure that there is a uh, strong financial incentive in place as well. We think selling on that duality of uh, climate change as well as the financial upside is the strongest uh, way to present an argument to the marketplace. So you're here in Hawaii. Tell me how that plays out. Tell me a little bit about what you, your company is doing, what Carbon Lighthouse is doing here in Hawaii and give us some flavor for why, why you're in Hawaii this week. Yeah. We're really excited to be part of the conversation. Uh, Kauai is an amazing place for lots of reasons, um, and specifically for our business is a great fit. I think there's three ways of thinking about why we're here. Uh, the first one is Hawaii has this tremendous, um, as a state, policy focus on addressing uh, climate change. By 2045, I believe they want to be at 100% uh, uh, renewables, which is a really large goal, uh, coupled with trying to get more than 4,000 gigawatt hours of efficiency savings. It's, it's a massively ambitious uh, target, and we're excited to hopefully yeah. be part of that. 
from a um, financial perspective, Hawaii is very reliant on oil. Oil is very expensive as a, renew as a uh, generating source, definitely not renewable. Um, and so for us, there's a strong financial alignment. And then from the, an ethos perspective, uh, one of our investors is from the, is the Ulupono Initiative. Oh, right. uh, they invested in CL, and their goal is to improve the lives of uh, people who live in Hawaii. And for us, that is exactly aligned with how we think as a company. It's exactly aligned with kind of our ethos and culture internally. So we're really excited to be here this week to be part of that conversation. Yeah. That's great, and we're excited to have you here. I think you're doing a session on making sense of, of data from buildings yeah. uh, tomorrow here at Verge. Um, Matt Ganser, great to have you here. Great having Thanks. you. Thanks.